Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new question. So basically our question is that we are given some coordinates. Now we need to find out that which coordinates are closer to origin. Now we need to return the key closest element to the origin. So if you see here we have four coordinates. First coordinate is, is 2, 3. So 2, 3 means 2 is at X and 3 is at Y. Similarly for C2 we had we have at 1, 2. Now we have another coordinate at C5 and another coordinate at 0, 4. So if you see that I need to find out that which coordinate are closer to the origin. So it means that we need to find the distance like what is the distance from origin and how do we find the distance. So distance can we find out using this solution. We have x square plus y square upon root right. So the point is that can I do something like this let like first of all I find out the distance like what what are the distance and then according to distance then I can arrange them in a sorting manner and then let's say if I want the k closure so at the from the starting I can return that these are the k closure element right so that's what what we need to do so now what we can do basically uh, let's say if all the coordinates are in list form so like I have a list where these all are the coordinates now in Java we have a function collection dot sort which will which basically sort the list so here our list is of coordinate point now the point is what is the parameter of sorting the parameter of sorting is distance right because I want to find out the distance so what I can do that I will write a function collection dot sort and where I will pass the list and I will pass the comparator now the comparator will be based on the distance so now what we can do that either I can find out the ex actual distance here that root x square plus y square root but the point is here we just need to check that which are the closure value. So either we can find out this one or even if we find out this one x square plus y square that is also fine because the value the closure the closest value of this one of the root will also have the closest value of this one as well right. So either we can find out this one or we can find out this one. So now if you see for the 1 4 coordinate the distance is the distance from the origin is this one x square plus y square. So x square is 1 plus y square is 4, 16 so it will be 17. Now for 2 3 it will be 4 plus 9 13 for 0 plus 4 for 0 4 it is 16 and for 3 5 it is 34 right. So it means out of this if you see that the closure the closest coordinate is 2 3 because this is the closest one. Now let's say if my k is it means I need to return the two closest point. So this is the first closest point and second closest point is 16 right. So now what I will do that I will take a list and then I will sort it and sort it based on the origin and then when I will sort it then at the last I can say okay these are the two closest point. So now let me sh let me show you what I mean. So what I mean like let's say here I have four coordinates. So here I have the coordinate class. So now if you see in coordinate class what is that I have only two point x and y because the coordinate has x and y and these are the, the these are the constructor to initialize the x and y and this is the point that distance from the origin. So either you can calculate this one or let's say if you want to exactly check because we this is just a comparator. So that is why if x square plus y square root is lower for someone so x square plus y square will also be the lesser than the other one right so if you want then you can also do something like this let's say if you just want to do squared this is this will basically get the square root right so this is also fine if it is then you will just return here double because our return type is double right or what we can do that this is just a comparator so we can also check using x square plus y square so now this is the these are the coordinate right now I am putting all these point into a, a list. So here I have created a list which is the type of coordinate. Now one by one I have put all the element into the list and now I am calling the function k closest point from origin using list. So what is happening here what I am passing. If you see here I am passing the list that these are the list of coordinates and here I am passing the k. k means how many points you want. So now if you see first of all uh, these are the this is negative case let's say if I if my list of coordinate size is 0. So if my if my list is 0 in this case there will be blank there will be no point so it will be blank so that is why I am returning return new blank list. Otherwise now we have a function here collections.sort. 
So here I'm passing that I want to show this list because this list has all the coordinates, right? Now, what is a comparator? So this is a comparator. So this is this is how in Java we can basically define the comparator, right? So here, this is how I'm defining the comparator. So N1 and N2, N1 and N2 I have defined. So this is basically to check the values. So now how I'm checking? I am checking, I want to compare based on the distance from the origin, right? And because this N1 and N2 have happening on the coordinates and in coordinate, I have already this function distance from the origin. So what it will do that it will basically check that let's say, uh, it will, let's say if it comparing two points, let's say because the list, if you see here, the list of coordinate maintains the coordinates. Now let's say if it comparing one, four and two, three. So what it will do? First of all, it will calculate the distance from origin for the one, four. So for the one, four, it will get 17 and for two, three, it will get 13. So it will arrange two, three first and then one, four second, right? So what it will do, this collection dot sort will basically sort the complete coordinates in the sorting manner. So what will happen that after that, after the sorting, after the sorting, the coordinates will be in this manner. So first, first it will arrange two, three, then it will arrange zero, four, then it will arrange one, four, and then it will arrange three, five, right? Now what I want, now I want, now let's say if my k equals to two, so I want the top two elements. So one by one, I will fetch the element and I will put in the resultant list. So you can see from here. So th this is my result list. Result list is again the coordinate list. So what I'm doing? I'm initializing i equals to zero and until i is less than k. And I'm also checking that i should be less than or equals to list of coordinate size because what can happen? Let's say if I have only four elements and if your k is five. So if your k is five, then it means find the five closure point and when you have only four elements. So in this case, we are just putting the four element whatever we have. So that is why we are saying that i should be less than or equals to list of coordinate size and i is less than k. Now one by one, we are getting the list from, because this is already sorted now. The list of coordinate list is already sorted. So now one by one I am fetching and I am putting in the result list, right? And let's say if you don't want to create a new list, then what you can do, then the user will automatically fetch that, okay, these are the K element and I can basically, because I have already sorted the existing list. So this is also a point. So now if you see in this case, that what is our time complexity? So if you see that first of all, I'm sorting the complete list. So if there are n points, so my time complexity will be n log n, right? Because if I sort using this way, so it basically have the n log n. So in this case, my time complexity will be n log n. Now, can I improve this solution? So basically I can also solve this question using heap. So in heap, what we do that in heap, we can, in heap, we have two types. One type is minimum heap and one type is maximum heap. So let's say, first of all, I am solving using minimum heap. So minimum heap, what it does, it basically puts the minimum value at the top. So what I can do that I'll basically put all these coordinates into minimum heap. So basically I will initialize a priority queue because minimum heap can be initialized using priority queue. And then one by one, I will put all the points there. So what then, so once we have created the minimum heap, all the points, then one by one, I will fetch all the elements from the top. So when I will fetch the element from the top, it will automatically readjust. And then the next value will be on the top. Then again, I can fetch the another element. So it means minimum heap, whenever you are extracting any value, it will automatically readjusting, right? So that is, that is another solution. So the point is that in minimum heap, first of all, we are putting all the values into minimum heap, right? So whenever we are inserting any value into minimum heap, if there are, if there are n values, so it means every time we are inserting, it is basically readjusting first of all. So it means the time complexity to add the value into minimum heap will be n log n, right? Because one by one, because one by one, we are adding the value. So it will be n log n. Then what we are doing, then we are extracting the k values, right? So it means we are, our operation will be K. Now, whenever we are extracting, it is rebalancing the tree. So it will be K log N because we have N elements in the tree. So it will be K log N. So if you see the overall time complexity in this case will be N log N, 
right because here we have n log n here we have k log n log n and it will be n log n and if you compare using this solution here we were getting the n log n but here we are getting this extra complexity as well so if i do using minimum heap so this will not be that better solution from this list right so let me show you that how i'm doing using minimum heap so here i have this minimum heap and let me show you clearly so here i have this minimum heap key closest point using minimum heap where again the same thing that here i have list of coordinate and here i have k now this negative case is same so now what i'm doing that i'm creating a minimum heap and using the priority queue to define the minimum heap in java and the comparator is same because the comparator will be same because the comparator is same even if you are using the list or if you are using the heap so we are doing the same thing because this is a minimum heap so we are saying n1 dot distance from origin minus n2 dot distance from origin so what it will do that it will create a minimum heap now one by one we are putting all these values all the list values this is a list of coordinate so one by one i am putting all the coordinates into minimum heap so it means let's say if i have four coordinates so all the four coordinates are into minimum heap now then this is my resultant list so let's say this is my let me rename it so this is my result now because i know that i want the top k closure point and this is minimum heap so what it will do we are putting a condition that until minimum heap is not empty or i should be less than k and i is initialized to zero so first of all i am polling the i am polling the element from the minimum heap so when you poll so it will have the because we are using the minimum heap so it will have the closure point the closest point to the origin and we are putting into result so what it will happen that as soon as you pull the element it will readjust because this is heap so the whenever you then when you operate a second time second time also you will have the next next minimum element to the origin right so this is how we will keep on putting the element the k element and then we will return the result right so this is when we are doing using minimum heap so in this case we have seen the complexity will be this one now we can also do using maximum heap now here let's see using maximum heap so how can we do using maximum heap so if you see here let's say uh, if my k is 2 so if my k is 2 then it means at the starting so this is kind of solution this is this has the exact some same solution where i want to say that find the k smallest point find the find the k smallest number out of n given number so in this in this what to do and let's say if my k is 3 so you basically create the maximum heap of k and then whenever you are inserting any element then you basically adjust that if the inserting element is less than the top element then you insert that element right so this is basically on the same concept so what will happen that when you are creating maximum heap so first of all create the maximum heap of k elements only right so what will happen that uh, let's say these are the first two first two elements so here we have 1 4 and here we have 2 3 so because this is the k k is 2 so it means it will be something like this because this is maximum heap this is maximum heap so the top value will be at the top so here because we are ha having 17 and here it is 13 so 17 value will be on the top and 13 will be here because k is 2 so it will create a he heap of 2 now what will happen that whenever we are inserting any new value let's say so let's assume this is 17 this is 13 this is 16 and this is 34 now first of all we have added the k element into maximum heap we have created the maximum heap of k element so these were the k element because our k was 2 so now here we have 17 because because this is 1 for so this is 17 and here this is 13 now we are adding this 16 so after adding 16 earlier the closure point is 17 and 13 now my closure point will be 13 and 16 right because now the closure point is 13 16 not 17 so what i can do that if the closure if this value which we are inserting if it is less than the top value of the heap so we basically remove this value and then we add this value so what will happen that as soon as we remove this value this 2 3 will come here and the top and then we will add the new value so it means new value is 16 so 16 means because it's a coordinate so it will be 0 4 right and then i am adding the 34 because the next value is 34 so because the what is the 2 3 2 3 is 13 and here here we have 
here we have 16 so basically this is maximum heap right so this is maximum heap so basically it will update the it will re rebalance itself so 0 4 will be at the top and 2 3 will come here right because this is a maximum heap so that is why it will be this manner so now the 0 4 have the value 16 and this 2 3 has the value 13 because we are checking using distance from origin now my next value is 34 so th 34 is greater than the 34 is greater than the 16 it means we need not to do anything because even if you add the 34 your smallest point your k smallest point will be this one only right so now because 34 was the last element so what we can do now after that this element whatever element left in the maximum heap that will be my k closest element so if you see here 2 3 has a 13 and 0 4 is a 16 so these elements are the k closest element in the origin from the origin and one by one we will fetch the element and we will print it right so this is what this is how we can solve using maximum heap first of all create the maximum heap of k elements now once you have created now one by one add the other element and check that if your element if your element is less than the top element it means you can remove the element and you will add the new element right so this is how we'll, uh, we can solve using maximum heap so if you see the time complexity in this case first of all i am creating the maximum heap of k element so you to create the maximum heap of k element it will be k log k right now now i am keep on adding the element and whenever i am adding the element so what can happen that let's say if i am if the element is less than this one so first of all i am removing so as soon as you remove the element it will reshuffle and when you add the also then also it reshuffle right so, but the so overall you can say it is log k operation maximum so what is happening that maximum it can be log to log k why to log k log k when you are removing the element and log k when you are adding the element so though you can say it is log k itself because this is two log k so two log k we can say because two is constant so it is log k so we can say that whenever you are adding any element this is making log k operation why k because the maximum heap is fixed of k size then how many elements you are adding you are basically adding n minus k because k elements you have already added to heap and now you are adding n minus k log k so this is in plus so if you see the overall time complexity in this case is maximum n log k right so n log k is better than the n log n because in this case the complexity was n log n in this case also the complexity was n log n but here we are complexity is n log k so the maximum heap solution is the best if you want to get this solution right so let me show you the maximum heap solution as well so here what we are doing that this is the same thing list of coordinate k and this is a negative k this is also same now because here we are creating the maximum heap so maximum heap can be created using n2 minus distance from origin and n1 n2 distance from origin now i am adding the maximum heap of k element so that is why i have added an element i less than k means i am adding k element and one by one you can add the element you can get the element from the list and you can add the maximum heap so till now your k elements maximum heap is ready now one by one you will add the element and you will check that if the element that you are inserting so the element we are inserting is this one list of coordinate get i now check the distance so if the distance of this one is less than the distance of the peak element of the heap then it means i will remove the element from the top of the heap i will remove the element and i will add this new element in the heap right so whenever you add any element in the heap it will automatically readjust because that's the property of heap right and then at the last what we get to do then we need to so whatever element left in the maximum heap that will be the closest element right so now at the last i can return that whatever the elements left in the maximum heap so just one by one fetch the element and add in the list and then you can return at the list right so this is how we can do that so that's all about this video and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you